Welcome back, Dr. Nitin here. We are learning how to use PowerPoint Copilot to create presentations using your corporate branded templates. This is the third video in the series. Watch the first two videos. First video shows the simplest method. Second video shows how to use Microsoft Starter Template. If both these methods don't work for your template, then you need to watch this video. While creating presentations, Copilot selects the layout for each slide by looking at the layout names and their content. The first step is to make a copy of your template and open the copy. Also keep the Microsoft Starter template open as a guide. While repairing your template, you will need to switch between slide view and master view multiple times. So let's find a shortcut for that. This is PowerPoint. I am in slide sorter view. You can change the views from status bar at the bottom. This is normal view, slide sorter view, reading view, which puts it as a running presentation in a window. This is slideshow, which shows the current slide onwards. The shortcut is this. Press the shift key on the keyboard and click on the icon for normal view. That will take you to the layout of the current slide. There can be multiple layouts. All of them are related to the slide master. So to go to the slide master, shift and click again or if you are in normal view and you directly want to go to slide master press shift and double click to come back click on the normal view again in order to repair your template we have to look at six things let's go one by one first thing is the slide master so any element you want to repeat on every slide you put it in slide master ideally there should be only one slide master but invariably in real life you will have multiple masters. And as we have seen last time, Copilot only looks at the first master. So all usable content, design elements and layouts have to be a part of first slide master. The next thing to look at is color palette. Your brand guidelines will give you a list of colors with their X and RGB values. You want to make sure that your corporate template is using those colors correctly. So when you're in the slide master view, you will see this button called colors. It's a drop down. Open this and choose customize colors. Ideally, this theme should be customized to your brand colors. If it is not, you'll have to create the palette correctly. I'll show you how to set a color. Open the drop down, click on more colors, go to your brand guidelines. There'll be a hex color value. Copy paste that here. The color palette contains 10 colors. First four are foreground, background. Then we have six accent colors. Then we have hyperlink and followed hyperlink. Similarly, we have a palette or sort of theme of fonts. So again, go to customize fonts. You get two types of fonts, heading font and body font. These also should be as per your brand guidelines. These colors and fonts have to be used properly when you're defining the layouts. Whenever you want to change a font color, open the drop down and choose theme colors. Even if you see a similar color under standard colors, do not use it. If you want to change a font, open the font drop down and choose the heading font or the body font. Even if you see the same font down below, do not use it from here. The next thing to customize are layouts. Each of the layout has a name. Take the mouse cursor, hover, in the tooltip, you will see the name. This is title layout. This one is title and content layout. If I want to change the name, you have to right click on it and rename. These names are very important because Copilot first looks at these names to shortlist which layout is most suitable. In your template, there may be many, many layouts and looking at one name at a time in tooltip is very cumbersome and irritating. So I created a tool which gives you a list of all layout names and slide master names. I'll give you a link, download it. It's a zip file, unzip the file. It's a PPTM, means PPT with a macro. Unblock the file and then open that file. First time you open it, it'll ask you to enable content or macros. Keep this file open. Then go to your file or your template. Now in the view tab, go to macros and you should see a macro called list layouts. In case you don't see the macro, 
open this drop down and say all open presentations then you will see my file name and the name of the macro itself select it and click on run now it will open a separate file which is basically a text file in notepad and it will show you total masters you have total layouts you have and then a list of all the layout names and the masters copilot requires at least five layouts and the names have to be exactly like this like i said you need variation the more variety of layouts you have the better for example in the microsoft starter template we have 43 layouts and you can see how they have designed it there are multiple variations of title then title with a photo sections agenda multiple variations and so on and so forth so now you need to take your time and create relevant number of layouts now each layout has these placeholders in the main slide master make sure you have master layout clicked and all these enabled then depending on which layout you are talking about different type of placeholders you need to add these are the different types of placeholders so in a title slide we have this which is title placeholder whereas here this is title placeholder and this is content placeholder content means what a bulleted list plus six different things it's a combo in a given situation if you want only picture then choose this layout so we have a lot of variety available create the correct set of layouts put the correct set of placeholders and give them appropriate names once this is done save your template go to normal view click on copilot icon create a new presentation the template will appear here to reassure you that this is the template it's going to use and then you will get a much better quality output from copilot if you want to have a further level of sophistication means you want to create a central template a list of templates for people to use not just powerpoint word and excel as well then we need to create a brand center organizational content library and an organizational image library as well but that is a topic for another video so if you found this useful like the video subscribe to the channel try it out share it with everyone and thank you for watching see you soon take care